Nearly three hours of questions. How are we immediately recruiting? What are some of your community engagement strategies? Do we know how many of those 42 are still with the agency? Marilyn Mosby pushing back on those questions about how many prosecutors she has to really handle Last the caseload in her office. The rumors. The misinformation. This myth peddled misinformation reported by the media. There's misinformation. The misguided and politically charged rumors. There's a great deal of misinformation that was reported in the media. Surrounding my office and my prosecutor alleging that my prosecutorial units are understaffed, none of which is true. After the hearing, I tried to get some clarity. What's misinformation specifically? specifically. Misinformation that your, your news station puts out. But what exactly is specific? What is misinformed about that? It's not just Fox 45 News investigating the vacancies and inexperienced prosecutors. The Baltimore Banner, Baltimore Sun, each writing a story. Michael Turriello, former narcotics unit deputy chief, telling Fox 45 the staffing crisis in Mosby's office is dire. What are we facing? Nothing short of a public safety emergency. We have been investigating this mass exodus from Mosby's office for weeks. Our numbers obtained from several different people show more openings in the office than what she's telling the city council. According to our data, the homicide unit used to have 13 prosecutors and four supervisors. Now it's 11 prosecutors and two supervisors. Major investigations, sharing staff with narcotics, the gun violence enforcement division, working with five attorneys and one supervisor compared to a previous 12 line prosecutors and four supervisors. But according to Mosby, her office is down 42 line and prosecutors blaming the vacancies on the pandemic and people finding other jobs. Turriello says people have been leaving Mosby's office since the day she started. At this point, money's not solving it. At this point, a change in leadership solved it. And it's not just Turriello sounding the alarm. They are down 88 prosecutors at this point. They're prosecutors in felony who have been lawyers for less than a year. You can't expect a lawyer with less than one year of experience to prosecute any felonies in the state of Maryland efficiently or effectively. The city council pushing for answers about reclassifying positions in the office. Fox 45 News submitting a public records request to Mosby's office asking for work calendars for all the community liaisons starting in January. List of all cases assigned to each supervising unit since the start of 2022. Also sending the questions to city council members if they plan to probe deeper about the prosecutor's salaries being used to fund community liaisons. No clear answers, but according to Mosby's website, there are nine community liaisons, one in each different police district. Seen on social media, attending community events, touting the work of Marilyn Mosby. Meanwhile, the top prosecutor continues to deflect responsibility for the problems plaguing her office. So would you agree that the staffing problems in your office right now are a public safety emergency? No, no more than the Department of Transportation or DPW. They're not the ones in charge involved in public safety, though. They are, because the mayors have put them at the table and said that they are responsible for public safety as well. Falling back on a similar theme she often uses for her own defense in her federal indictment case, claiming the criticisms are politically motivated.